Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider Official here with another episode, actually a episode of how I did it my regional yesterday. Now if you guys didn't know I had to prepare a video for yesterday, but I took counter fairies to that regional, and this is a build that I used, and realizing I could have changed a few things before going into it. So let's get started. I played one Lecter Pendulum and one Luster Pendulum because I ran Draco face off. Now, I've seen, I saw Luster Pendulum the most over Draco face off, so I'm deciding to cut the Lecter and the Lust and the, the Draco face off on my deck. Then, three Guiding RNA. This card makes the deck so good because you don't have to pay costs for actually life points or discard to activate any of your counter traps in the deck. Next, three Bountiful Artemis because this card lets you draw one every time that a counter trap activates during the chain. People realize they cannot negate it because it's during the chain itself. Next is three fossil dino. Fossil dino is amazing, but I didn't even have any oh, I only had one blue eyes matchup. And it was an easy matchup because you just get this out, they can't do anything. And then finally two Archmia Centrics. This did come in handy once, but I'm thinking of cutting it. And I might put something different in its place. And now, the draw power of the deck. Three card demise, everyone knows what it is. This card, I activated it during my turn, drew another one off of it, set it. Next turn, a line, I set card that I drew, activated another, get three more, and I drew an iron head off of it. And I managed to win that game. And that round. Next. Next. I have Upstart Goblin. Everyone runs it. Then three Pot of Duality, Dacton. And it gets to your key cards faster. The one card that I always saw was Card Demise. Because. Actually, I don't know why, but. I always revealed a card demise of two counter traps or a monster demise and a counter trap. And then, yeah. Then hand advantage after that. Then Clash of Draco Rival or Draco Face Up. I already went over that. I'm cutting it. Then Moon Mirror Shield. I never saw this. And I'm thinking of dropping it. But I did see Mage Power a lot. Yesterday. When I had it. It was equipped to Bountiful Artemis. Or Fossil Dana. And it actually saved me a few times. Where my opponent couldn't do anything. Because I had Fossil Dana in defense. Next. Three Quaking Mirror Forest. Amazing card. Wouldn't swap it out for anything. Now, drastic drop off. I had three people actually not listening to me when I, they drew their card. I said, I have a response to your draw phase. They ignored it, and I activated this, and they went ahead and shuffled their hand. People need to go slower during the draw phase. That's all I have to say about that. And if you have any questions, please put it down in the comments below about this. Next, two Chaos Trap Bowl. Amazing card, but I barely based it any light and dark decks. So I might put this in the side now and bump and put in a few more counter traps. Next, the Solemn Judgment of a, of a deck with Ironade, Ultimate Provenance. This card is amazing because it negates everything. And 
And when I say everything, I mean everything. Then three strike, obviously, and one warning. And then two curse seal of forbidden spells. I only, I never even, I only used it once throughout the nine rounds or 27 duels. Then to the extra deck, it doesn't matter. Dynaster, Ignister, Magister, 101, Tsukiyomi, Abyss Dweller, Cowboy. Now for my Ghost Reaper targets, there were Shakanaga, never saw a train, dropping it. Massacre of Darklaw, never saw a hero, keeping it just in case. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, I'm going to be dropping it as soon as ABCs come out because no one's going to be running Blue Eyes again. Um, Baxia, never saw Yangzi Metaphos, dropping it. Number 95, never seen Blue Eyes, I'm going to drop this. Cyber Dragon Infinity though, never saw it, but there was a few people that could actually make it, but I never went up against them. Then, two Break Sword, two Dante. But I never encountered my cherries throughout the duels that I sided them in. Then my side deck, three Gamma Seal, never ran into Herald at all. Three Ally Justice Cycle Reader, never got to use these. One Arctrian Centric, never got to use. Ghost Reaper, never got to use. Maxi, never used, dropping it immediately because. This I usually get turn one when my opponent goes first. Never happened at all. Next, one Regeki. I saw it once. And then three MST saw it a few times. Worth keeping both of these. But my matchups I had first round and second round matches back for pendulums. Then Burning Abyss. Then. Actually, no, Light Sworn, then PK, Fire. Then I went up against. Blue Eyes. <clears throat> a Pure Burning Abyss deck, another Magic Spectre deck, and a Meta Foes deck. And I think that's nine, I don't know. But overall, I'm going to have what I won and what I lost against down in the description. And explain the situation down there in the comments below about drastic drop off. But hopefully, you all enjoyed. I went 5 4. And if you guys enjoyed this, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.